My name is Alan Parrish. I'm the Executive Director of the Alabama Transportation Institute. We created an acronym that we refer to as ACES Squared, Automated, Connected, Electric, Shared, and Safe. Any project that we have, we have 20 to 30 teams working on it from different aspects. We encourage multidisciplinary research. People call me Dr. Paul and I'm a mechanical engineering professor. My name is Elsa Gabru Tadla and I am transportation research engineer. I'm an assistant professor at electrical and computer engineering at the University of Alabama. My name is Junlu. I'm an assistant professor of transportation engineering. I'm a mixture of an algorithms and data structures sort of person that has been deeply involved in automobiles and motorsports for essentially my entire life. We bring together a tremendous group of faculty and if we go after the right projects and get the right awards, we can set up research which is really cutting edge. One of the prime examples now is the AMP Center for Electric Vehicles. This is a partnership between the University of Alabama, Mercedes-Benz, U.S. International, which is the manufacturing arm located here in Tuscaloosa County, um, and the Alabama Power Company, which is a utility provider, uh, part of the Southern Company Network. We're really excited to promote uh, electric vehicle research, to conduct electric vehicle research and technology transfer, and to support workforce development so that the EV industry can flourish uh, here in Alabama. We try to you know, uh, develop solutions to the problems that we see that the public will see in the coming years, especially with electrified transportation autonomous vehicles. The opportunity to get involved in the Indy Autonomous Challenge was just one that I couldn't resist. The Indy Autonomous Challenge is a competition amongst university teams focused on developing the software that controls the vehicle and competing against other universities doing the exact same. We had teams circulating near 140 miles an hour Interesting just from a technical perspective that, that we were able to get autonomous cars around the racetrack that fast. The undergraduate competition teams span the whole spectrum of engineering. This past competition, AVTC 12, has been deemed the Eco Car Mobility Challenge. The goal for the challenge is to build a car for uh, mobility as a service, which means like a fleet owner would deploy vehicles throughout a city and people could use them on demand. And um, the objective of developing these cars is to make them more efficient and more um, connected and, and automated and improve the automated features of the vehicle. So quite literally, this competition is training the next generation workforce that's going to transform the mobility industry. The Alabama Transportation Institute was put into existence uh, to really lead the charge in cutting edge research for the 21st century. We have a holistic approach to improve transportation safety, transportation efficiency, and improve fuel economy of the system. In doing that, we also want to focus on uh, what's actually going on in, in current day reality. That's why we have this Transportation Operations Center. So we expect that uh, as Dr. Alex Hainan uh, continues to develop uh, his algorithms for controlling signal timings, uh, those signal timing algorithms will be used in this operations center uh, that we're currently sitting in right now. We put out dedicated short-range communication radios, or DSRC, and we've put this at over 100 intersections around the city red here. Red light. So it'll give me that red light warning, so it'll let me know and say, hey, don't go through that intersection. The idea behind this is not giving drivers information that's distracting, but most of it's audible that we're able to hear. Get ready for green. Um, so just trying to get more features out there to inform drivers of what's going on around them. My colleagues, they are uh, testing and developing some of those connected automotive vehicle systems on the road in this region, Tuscaloosa area. And my team is proposing uh, something different. And we are looking at this connected automotive system from the 
perspective of the traffic manager aspect. It is because we want to help the connected optimal vehicles to understand their operating environments from the static roadway environments to the dynamic driving context. There is such a great energy and teamwork going on right now at ATI. It's not just research for the sake of research. It's research for trying to improve the lives of people in our state and, and beyond.